Hi guys, uh, this is Michael from FreshBelief.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you a success story uh, from within the Kindle publishing business. Um, the person has been mentoring me privately. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce Luca. Hi Luca. Um, Hi, hello, so, you're right. I'm fantastic yourself, how are you doing today? Yeah, fantastic. I always love waking up with more money than I had you know, when I went to sleep. So yeah, that's a nice feeling. Oh, fantastic. Um, so uh, for all, all, all my uh, readers and everything, there's just like some questions I'd like to go over so they, they get you to know you a bit more on who you are. Uh, so okay. the, first, the, the first thing is, uh, how did you get into Kindle publishing? Well, I, I got into Kindle publishing by looking around the to, uh, you know, I was looking on the internet and I was looking for for multiple sources of income on internet and the old concept of passive income. And uh, at that time, I was reading Think and Grow Rich, and uh, and I was listening to the uh, all the American gurus that was uh, they were featured in The Secret, and they were talking about leveraging on your time by setting up multiple sources of income. But obviously, you know, I didn't have money, and so I didn't know how to do it. I mean, I knew about real estate, but uh, I didn't have any, any capital to invest. And so I, I started looking for opportunities on the internet and, and Kindle publishing came across as the easiest way to uh, to make passive income on the internet and, and it was true. And it took me a long time to actually figure this game out because it's not as easy as people uh, may, may be led into believing. Um, so I, I got into Kindle publishing and I had my success after, after many months I started actually, but I didn't give up. And uh, and I started enjoying great success after yeah, after about a year. Well, it's not a year, but after six solid months, I started making my first hundred uh, hundred dollars, and then two hundred, and then I, I you know I famously snowballed from there. So um, just just going like a little bit back to what you said about the money. Uh, yeah. So compared to when did you make your first dollar? And then when did you make your like your first uh, hundred and then thousand and like what kind of money are you making like per month now? So how how did you go through the process and how did that happen? Right, right. So I uh, well I made my first dollar on, on my first day actually. Making I have to say because what what you said is very important for me. The this part is making your first dollar online because. That gives you validation. I mean, that you can actually make money online. <laughs> uh, I made my first dollar. I think on the first day, I started selling my first book, which was uh, the secret to learn Chinese by Look at Stephen. You can still find it on Amazon. I still sell it. And uh, uh, I, I sold my first talk, uh, my first copy in about after about two hours. And I remember that the girl, uh, she was a Canadian girl uh, or a, an American girl. She got back in touch with me because she couldn't read it because I had uploaded it. Uh, in the PDF form, and if you upload it with a PDF file, uh, your book may have problems uh, inside, and so she wasn't, she was uh, unable to read it, and so I, I basically sent her the file uh, through the email. Uh, but she had bought it anyway, and so that gave me two or point eight dollar or whatever. Uh, but then I stood, you know, you know, I stayed that way for a long time, a lot of months, and it took me a very long time to actually go above the uh, the hundred dollars benchmark. And I recognize that in making money through the internet, there is uh, there are different benchmarks. I mean, if you if you're already making like three thousand, then you're already doing something extremely good. You can just do more than uh, than what you're doing, uh, do more of what you're doing. Sorry, and you will make five thousand. I mean, it's not rocket science, but going from zero to three hundred bucks and then from three hundred bucks to a thousand is very hard, and it requires an old set, an old, an old different set of of of, of motivation and values and skills and, and in case of in the case of Kindle publishing of strategies and and, and tips and and, and and things that you have to implement otherwise you will simply not get there. So basically in in, non, in order to answer to your question, well I have I have kind of slowed down now in, in being upset with you know giving all my dashboards away because I am that's what I'm known for. I mean I, I, I always document what I do and I I take pictures of my dashboards and uh, my royalty reports and everything. Um, I have kind of stopped doing that because I am focusing on other things. But let's just say that I'm making a very, very, very extremely comfortable six-figure year business with, uh, you know, 
six-figure uh, income, and it is a, a very comfortable six-figure uh, self-publishing business. And I have obviously had points in which I was making about 10k a day, which is which is something nobody else has ever done, to, to my knowledge, uh, in the world. Possibly, I'm talking about self-published authors. I'm not talking about genuine authors like you know Harry Potter's author or whatever. Uh, but as a self-published author, I have reached highs that nobody, nobody else has. And of course, it was a series of, uh, of, of variables like meeting together and just allowing me to make this, uh, to, to be able to make 10k a day. This is not something that I claim uh, I am doing now, or, or this is something that everybody can, can just achieve. But uh, I have gone from zero to making actually 10k a day, and it was actually a tiny bit more than 10k. It was 10k and 300 bucks in a day. And uh, uh, so yeah, I, I I went from from zero to eight thousand dollars. I remember uh, in in three months. I mean, I uh, <clears throat> last January I was earning uh, two thousand, no, about three thousand dollars, and then the following month I went to uh, uh, to eight thousand uh, dollars. And two months prior to that, I was making I was making about thousand. So. I, I, I simply found a, a, an old bunch of strategies and things that allowed me to skyrocket. And it's a very important thing to do. I mean, I, I simply experimented more than most people and most publishers because most publishers get to a point and then they cannot go on. And no matter what they do, they will not go on. So they either start producing uh, too many books, uh, but this will not give them the money that they're looking for, or they, they give up altogether. Okay, you, you've, uh, you've kind of answered... Uh... My, my other three questions all in one, you know, all, all that big answer. Uh, yeah. but thank you for that one. Um, so with, with like nowadays, like new people are getting into Kindle publishing like every day uh, because yeah. they, they see a good opportunity. Um, in your opinion, is the market too saturated or is there still opportunity? No, there is still a big opportunity actually. And I think Amazon is cracking down on the, on the crappy books. In order to keep this opportunity up, like uh, obviously people took advantage of of being able to basically produce very low quality books, and obviously the, there must be a point in which Amazon just cleans everything up and allows just the profitable, motivated, and, and high quality book producer publishing uh, publishers to uh, to prosper. Uh, but there is still a, a great opportunity, and you can start out with with with. Hundred bucks. I mean, you can produce your first book for hundred bucks. Uh, granted that the first book will be a tiny bit shorter. Uh, it's a great opportunity, and you can branch out to paper book and audio, which is the basic. I mean, the basic of Kindle publishing is now having three sources of income in, in you know, coming from from one. I mean, you produce a book, and then you have to be able to know how to to upload it on CreateSpace, how to convert it, how how to price it, and you know because. Uh, you're a member of my of my program, the self publishing revolution. That there is, I mean, there is a science behind pricing. That you've noticed it last time. I mean, as soon as you change the price, you got one copy sold. Mm, yeah. Uh, the, I mean, there is a the thing is there is a science behind it, and uh, and, and that's about it. So it, it's a very it's a very good opportunity. It's great. You have to know what to do though. And um, the barrier entry is uh, is higher than it used to be, but then it's not. It's not amazingly higher, uh, and as well, if you if you if you progress from Kindle publishing into CreateSpace and ACS, which is the audiobooks, uh, and you, if you keep those three sources of income alive, and you you, you know how to implement the strategies and everything, uh, you will be successful. Uh, granted that you don't give up, and you you remember that uh, this business is is a tiny bit less passive than people uh, make it out to be. Uh, you still have to pay attention to uh, a few things, and you have to be on the edge of Amazon changes. And as long as you do, uh, you will have a, a very, very successful business, and you will have great satisfaction. Um, you just, you just, uh, I just heard a question, uh, a point you just made there. It says um, a lot of people like think it's, oh, it can become a passive business. Um, why did you say it's not? It, it's not one hundred percent passive. Well, why did you say that? Well, first of all, passive income doesn't really exist. I mean, this whole concept of passive income must be explained to people because uh, it, it creates great confusion. I don't believe there is such thing as passive 100% income. Everything must be upkept. 
Uh, now, for example, if you uh, if you have a Kindle publishing business and you just leave it to it, you're going to receive bad reviews on your books. That's inevitable, and everybody gets a Stephen Stephen King. And uh, if you don't do uh, anything long term, uh, it will affect your sales. You have to put your books back on promotion. Uh, this is not actually 100% rule. I have books that I never put back on promotion and, and they have been generating income for six months now, seven months now. Uh, but these are exceptions. And again, if you don't have the strategies that I teach in the, the video course, you will not do it. So anyway, you need to put the, the book back on promotion every every 90 days. Um, there may be, uh, one month I had pretty much all my books, or all my favorite books are published by CreateSpace because there was a problem in the cover. Nothing serious. I mean, I just spent, I believe the month I spent $200 to having uh, all the covers uh, redone, or three hundred dollars or something. Uh, but had I been on vacation, you know, I, I would have missed out a lot of money. And that month, actually, it was one of my biggest months. And uh, even if I had a lot of books published by CreateSpace, actually ninety-five percent of the books were published. Uh, so you need to be. I mean, if I hadn't checked my email, uh, I wouldn't have noticed, and of course, I, I would have missed out on a lot of money. So uh, things can happen. And this is true of any business. I mean, one, one other business that I'm heavily into right now and I'm generating actually very good money is affiliate marketing. And now affiliate marketing is possibly more passive, but if the links click uh, that generate your commission uh, come from your blog and you don't alimate your blog, you don't upkeep your blog, you don't keep writing, your blog would be, would be forgotten by, by the search engines. Uh, if you have niche websites, which by the way, in the pure sense, uh, don't work anymore. I mean, we can talk about that in another interview. Uh, but if you have websites which are fully dedicated to give you commissions and you, uh, there is a change on the search engine, your, um, your, your site will disappear. Uh, if you do real estate, let's talk about offline now, and your, your house is turned into a pot house, into a cannabis farm, and you don't do anything, then you will lose a source of income. Mm -hmm. So I always aim at leveraging income. This is one of the uh, Dunlop's teaching. Dunlop is a, is a, is a financial teacher, is a, a guru, is somebody that went from rags to riches. You always aim to leverage income into something that is, is not tied to the hours um, in a day. So it doesn't matter how many hours I work actively on my Kindle publishing business, uh, I still make a lot of money and I wake up having made money during the night. However, I still here and there have to do something during the day uh, to upkeep it. I may work an hour a day on my self publishing business, just check it sometimes. Uh, for example, there has been uh, I don't know if you, if you if you were involved with that, but um, until recently, a lot of publishers, including myself, uh, were taking advantage of a, a let's call it a loophole. It was it was actually uh, the Amazon camp. Now Amazon camp gave me a lot of money, but of course uh, we all knew that that thing was coming to an end. And when it did, uh, I had to modify all my all my books, and of course I have about uh, well the clickable books were 68. I, I don't have many books, um, so I had to modify. Uh, about 40 of them because they were they were being published by by Amazon, so I had to, to modify them and put it back on. Uh, but again, I mean, it requires it requires some uh, something from you. Now you can train your VAs to do this, uh, but see, what about if your VA leaves? You have to hire another VA, and while your VA is away, you have to do things that your VA does. So I don't believe there is a hundred uh, percent. I I don't believe there is a business that can be hundred percent outsourced. Uh, and you don't need to. I mean, uh, if, you, if you forget about your business, your business will forget about you. So as, lo as long as it is leveraged and it is 95% passive, you can still work one hour per week and just keep your castle. Okay. So where uh, do you see the future of like the, the Amazon Kindle publishing and everything? What, what direction do you actually see it going in now? Well, well, for sure, Amazon is cracking down, as I said, on, on, on crappy books, which is a, and it, it is a good news because this gives uh, uh, space to, to the serious publisher. I, I believe that Amazon will move in a direction uh, in which people will not be able to just publish uh, books off the cuff, but they will actually uh, have to be more serious, either by having a, a, a corporate structure or a legal structure for the uh, publishing business, or anyway, they will have to go through more hopes, and I think it is a good thing uh, because right now everybody can register an account and it will they, they can publish a book. I don't believe it is a good thing. I mean, I do believe self-publishing is a very good thing, granted that you provide a certain level of quality. So they may move in a direction in which they check books more and they make sure that 
the table of content works and your quality is, is very good or no spelling mistakes and they're already moving in that direction and I believe it's a good thing. I mean, publishers should be happy. I'm very happy uh, because the competition decreases. You see, if you, if you increase the entry uh, barrier of a little bit, you know, all the, you know, not motivated or not, uh, capable publishers, as I call them, will just give up because they will say, oh, I'm going keep complaining about my books. I can't, I can't think with that. I'll just, I'll just go back to my day job. And, uh, you see, so that's, that's the future of Kindle publishing, I think. I think it's a very, it's a very good opportunity as long as you, you stick to Amazon rules. And I do believe that self-publishing will, um, has to branch out to know later outside Amazon. I'm very big about that. I'm conducting experiments outside Amazon, um, because I don't believe that Amazon will carry on having the monopoly of, uh, of self-publishing. I don't believe Amazon provides the necessary quality in terms of platform of KDP of actually backend for, for us publishers um, to, to convince us to stick with Amazon uh, 100%. So I do believe that um, it, it can be a good time for experienced publishers, certainly not for newbies, to start looking around and see if there are any uh, there are other opportunities of find Amazon and there are. So we could we could combine create space with another platform and find that. There are a lot of things to do. Uh, the, the entry level is still, is still publishing on Kindle, KDP, um, uh, Kindle Unlimited, just opt in for 90 days, uh, create space and ACX, which is everything I explained in my video course. Uh, when you're more advanced, when you're making at least two thousand, three thousand dollars with your ebooks. Uh, with your self-publishing business overall, uh, then you can you can start looking around for opportunities. Okay, so um, there's there's the, well let's talk I'm gonna talk about before I go into your course. I'm um, first going to talk about your coaching. Uh, now I met you through your coaching, and so far I've had one session, and after implementing the tips, my my revenues, I thought my royalty they did increase. Um, yeah. Now. Uh, like your other students uh, that you coached, um, what success uh, have they had, and how long have you been coaching them for before they start to see small results, medium results, and bigger results? Okay. Well, first of all, uh, I have to correct you. It's not coaching; it's mentorship. I'm very big about that because. Uh, those two things are different. Coaching is sometimes somebody giving you stories and motivate you, uh, motivate you and giving you motivation. There are a lot of people giving you that. Uh, my usual explanation is that they're not able to give you anything else. Uh, I give you, I, I give students actual techniques and strategies that they can implement. As you said, I mean, you had one session and you had an increase of 300 bucks, I think. So you recoup your money, uh, you recoup uh, double of your money because I was still mentoring you at, uh, at a very low price. Um, but you can see that, I mean, the results are close to instantaneous. Um, if you, especially if you are beginners, uh, well, actually it's true for everybody. I mean, the, the results are always instantaneous. After one session, you can, you can increase your royalties of thousand dollars and there are people that have done it. Um, now, in terms of feedback, it really, it really depends. I mean, I had people just coming for one session like you and then leave never to be seen again. Uh, and this annoys me, but you see that all of these people, I mean, they just, they just, uh, possibly it's because my mentorship, you know, it's intense. I mean, I give you a lot of things <laughs> and just expect you to implement them. Yeah. You, you know that. I mean, it's not, it's not, if I don't beat around the booth, I just, I just, you know, it, it's a very active and, and energetic session. And there are people that can't handle it. They, yeah. they you know, they work better. I mean, I know a guy, for example, that, uh, I was talking to another publisher and this guy paid him 200 bucks to ask him, uh, does Kindle publishing still work? And I'm like, what, what, what kind of mentorship session is that, you know? So there are people that expect, you know, to pay you uh, for you to just to just stand in front of Skype and just talking to them in a shallow way. I don't do it. I'm not able to do it, not even during the interview. So, so I had students that just, you know, didn't make any money because they didn't implement. They actually disappeared and tried to reach out uh, to them and they, they haven't got back in touch. I mean, they just got scared of them. And then there are people that increase the world by thousands of dollars. I, I, I have mentored many people uh, that don't really, some of them are not really on Facebook. Uh, so uh, they're not heavily into, into the community. Uh, uh, but uh, some of them achieve, achieve results well beyond the, the, uh, the $10,000 a month. 
And that, that's a very great thing. I mean, it, it really shows you that if you implement my strategies and my tips, uh, you can really lo go a long way. Uh, but you have to do it. There are a lot of doublers. The biggest problem in this business is doubler. It's people that talk about doing things, talk about other people doing things, talk about other people not doing things, uh, but they don't do things. So they can't get it. Uh, there are a lot of people that do what 95% of publishers do, and that they don't know why they don't get the results of the 5%. And I'm like, you have to do what the 5% does, which is just getting down to business. Uh, and, and I have different levels of mentorship. I mean, my mentorship is tailored on, on the student. I mean, I don't have any schedule that you have to stick on. I believe it's stupid. I mean, uh, if you if you are a, a beginner, you're just making you know five hundred dollars per month. It's stupid for me to think that you will you will need the same things of a of a six figure per year publisher that want to become a, a you know you know want to make twenty k instead of ten k a month. Obviously, the needs are different. Uh, if you have, for example, you know you know kind of my strategy. So, uh, what would happen if you had implemented all my strategies on two hundred books? How much money would you have made? So you see, and, and I'm saying that because obviously you know my strategies and you know what I'm referring to. Uh, the more books you have, sometimes the more success you have, uh, because you can you can leverage on, on the number of books you have. Uh, so usually, the more money you're making, that actually it is more advisable to take on my mentorship because you will make a shitload of more money. So. Okay. Um, so just moving on, uh, you. Recently, just published a, a course. I think it's like yesterday or the last few days. Um, yeah. Today's date. So yeah, ten, ten days ago. Ten, was it ten? Oh, okay, it was ten days ago. All right. So, um, like, there's many, many courses out there um, yeah. that anybody can choose from. Um, why did you start your own course, and what makes it different from? everybody else's courses. Yeah, first of all, you have to remember that you get what you pay for. I mean, the other courses have a very low entry barrier. And if everybody buys them, everybody will do the same thing. It's very easy. I mean, the other courses are like $67. So there is nothing wrong with them. I started with them as well. Uh, the problem is that everybody will join them and everybody will use the same strategies, everybody will use the same tricks, everybody will do the same thing and everybody will start talking with other people joining the same group and, 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 and you're in this little bubble in which you think that you're being original but you're not being original. Uh, so that's the first thing. I mean, you want to join a different course with a different price point, receive different things and it's a very big thing. Uh, there is nothing like this on the market because I... Uh, first of all, I'm one of the most published, uh, most profitable publishers out there, um, and I'm talking about documented results. I'm not talking about stories that everybody else has. Um, my course includes advanced strategies for Kindle, CreateSpace, and now ACX, which not no other course is with the, the other ones. Uh, I teach uh, strategies that you can implement without actually uh, many times going back and modify all your books. You can just build upon the number of books you have with my strategy. Um, you have a strategy to leverage on the number of books without actually ordering more books and making more money. Uh, you have a price strategy for free space and Kindle. Everybody else just tells you, yeah, price your books kind of like that. It's not kind of. And you, you've seen yesterday, I mean, you, 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 you price your book differently and, and boom, you just sold another copy. There is a sign well, behind you. There is a sign behind stop, stop the yeah. profitable keyword. Uh, most, yeah. Stop, yeah for me. Okay, so. I didn't. I didn't just have uh, one sale. I actually had two sales. Oh, you had two sales. I had two sales. I woke up this and morning. And you actually increased the price, didn't you? Yes. Uh, I woke up this morning, and yeah. I had a sale. Like it was like I think it was like an hour later, and this morning when I woke up, which was like an eight-hour difference, I actually had another sale. So exactly. I mean, and that's. I mean, no, nobody else ever told you. Uh, didn't they? Because I mean, they don't know. You see, there is a science behind pricing your books and, and researching profitable keywords. They are very big on, on, on giving the students the tools to, uh, to look for profitable keywords because that's what everything comes down to, at least at the beginning. I mean, if you don't know how to find profitable keywords, you are in the dumps. You will not make money. And other courses kind of teach it, but then they don't really give you a rule. I mean, the other are like, yes, 
you know, you, you have to kind of do this and then around these numbers, the, the number is profitable. You cannot give students, you know, general advice. This is another thing, another distinguishing feature of my course. I teach students to do one thing and one thing only. Now, one thing I've noticed that students get confused if you give them options. If you give me options, I will be able, you know, having experience, I will be able to choose between the options. I will say this fits me more and this will maybe fit you more. At the beginning, uh, and when I say beginning, I'm also referring to people that make maybe a thousand dollars. Below six figures, you're a beginner. Uh, six figures per year, of course. And, uh, and and so I don't really give options because the, there is the most profitable way of doing everything. So the most profitable way of finding profitable tables is this, and I gave it in my video course. Um, the profitable, the most profitable way of increasing your uh, your profitability is this, and I gave it in my video course. The most profitable cover you might have is this one, and you know I gave it. Uh, the, the the most profitable price is this, and then you use this, and you have sold more copies for for the higher price. And this is something, you know, in bio-marketing law, it actually does, but people think it does. Because people think if I will lower my price, people will buy more, which is not true. Uh, but again, uh, you, you, I, I tested all the price points. You were asking me about the, you know, the, the specific price. Why is that that way? Uh, I tested different price points with CreateSpace, and there is a sweet spot. You have to, 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 to find a sweet spot, which I found. Uh, between the number of copies that you sell, the number of copies or the copies that you sell, and the profitability that you uh, that you have, so basically the amount of money you make for each sale. Uh, I used to believe that I had to sell a lot of copies. Now that is not true, especially for create space. Um, would you rather have 50 copies sold at one dollar each copy, uh, each copy, or 20 copies sold at seven dollars each copy? Which one would you like to have? So you see, it's about money because we are in this to make money. And so I've taken all these in your face, bottom line, you know, tell it how it is approached, and I condensed it into a video course, which, by the way, has a lot of lessons. And as well, it's it's now a, a one time payment. Now, it's a one time payment of $299, which may sound like a lot, but then again, other courses uh, charges you for a premium monthly. You know, Facebook group, and you you end up paying for one year at fifty dollars. So how much is it? That's six hundred bucks, mate. So you see, it's not really people shouldn't be scared by the the price actually. So, uh, this is, I mean, this is a video course for serious publishers. If you don't want to invest two hundred ninety nine dollars, then don't buy it. Don't come even write to me. You can you can join a cheap course. This is what I did, and uh, uh, the good courses, but you will be like. Everybody else. I mean, everybody will say, I will start by that and then I will see, you're doubling already, you're doubling. If you're motivated, join my video course, you will find, you know, uh, techniques that are truly different because, again, I'm very big on giving actual strategies and not stories and motivation because I got burned myself uh, with with somebody giving, giving stories. And there are people that are extremely good at telling stories and people believe them and give them a lot of money. Uh, kudos to them. Good. Uh, but if you want to make money with Kindle publishing, you need strategies and, and, and you know tips on Kindle publishing or stories. I've got last two questions for you. Um, I don't want you to mix them together. Um, one's for just people starting, and one's for people who are already publishing. So, what tips and advice do you have for people who are just getting into the publishing game? What tips do I have for people starting out? We yes. publish, right? Yes. Uh, well, the first advice I can give them is to join a good course and to distinguish themselves. The other tip I can give them is to think long term. So, to produce high quality books straight from the beginning. Um, this is big, I think. Uh, this, the third advice I can give them, if they can get mentored by people that know what they're talking about uh, while they shoot. Uh, and they have to be wary of stories out there. The fourth piece of advice I can give them, the fourth tip, is to, uh, well, to not give up. It may sound like, you know, unoriginal, but that's, that's what everything comes down to. I mean, there is money to be made with Kindle publishing, big, big money. Uh, but if you give up, you will not, you will not make money. I mean, 
uh, if you publish one book or two books and they don't take off like you think they should, uh, don't give up. You know, you have to carry on in your publishing uh, process and just, I mean, one or two books may not take off or may not sell. That's, that's just the nature of the business. Uh, do not get worried if people give you bad reviews they used to. You know, get worried and getting into arguments with people leading bad reviews. Just disregard it, don't worry. And uh, you need you need to find um, a company that will give you books for a reasonable price. I know there are some crazy prices out there. I was talking to uh, a girl that uh, is getting into, into self-publishing now. And she paid a nine thousand word ebook, two hundred dollars, and that's crazy. I mean, you you want to keep your cost down at the beginning, and you want to keep your cost down all the way. So for somebody getting started, I would say get a very good course. If you can get a mentor, uh, keep your cost down. Don't give up. This is the best thing. Okay, and what advice would you give to people who have already been publishing for a while and are looking to scale up their business? Well, I would say join my video course, and I would say that for a reason. I mean, if you if you haven't progressed recently, if you haven't improved your earnings, I mean, there is a reason you you reach a plateau, and if you don't implement anything new, you will not get past that plateau. That's I mean, that's like gym. I mean, when you're training, you need to change something, you need to mix things up if you want to to keep growing. Uh, if you're already making, let's say, a thousand dollars a month, which I think is the biggest part, you know, you know, below one thousand, one thousand dollars or above one thousand, um, you you may want to seriously consider getting new strategies and tips on board, and you may consider to go back and actually improve the books that you have in order for them to make more money. But then you need to know how to do it, and this is what I teach myself: publishing revolution, of course. Uh, and I would give serious thought to actually getting mentor. Now, getting mentor is actually trickier uh, when you're already making money because you see, if you're a beginner, you join and people tell you stories, you, you somehow believe them, and by the time you, you realize that the guy's not giving you anything, uh, the mentorship is over and there is no refund. But if you're already making money and you join a mentorship program of a guy that doesn't know what he's talking about, you will you will have wasted money and you will immediately realize that you have wasted money and you. You're not going nowhere. So getting mentored is actually is actually difficult for people that are already making money because the guy that mentors you may may know less than you do. Um, so so yeah, but I, I will I will advise them to get mentored. I offer a mentorship program. They can apply from my website, which is www.lucadestatemy.com, for example. Uh, but implementing new strategies is very big. Uh, the point is that you can, you can, I mean, you can make some money by using what everybody else is using, uh, but a 95 percent rule still applies. So if you want to reach the 5,000 or 7,000 or 10,000 month, then you're gonna have to impl implement what people that earn only 1,000 bucks don't implement, which is new strategies and tips. And my, my video course is full of them, by the way. You know that because you implemented one of my strategies and increased your life. So, okay, uh, thank you very much for your time, Luca. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's, it's been brilliant. Um, my, my readers and listeners, I hope they'll, they'll gain a lot of value out of this interview. Um, just one last thing. Um, if you are interested in uh, Luca's course, Luca has given me a affiliate link, which is uh, freshbelief.com forward slash self-publishing revolution. So, just go to that and I'll have a link in the description below of the video and a link on the blog post and you can go there. Okay. Thank you very much, Luca. And I'll talk Thank to you, you again soon. And we'll we'll talk again in the future. Yeah, sure. I mean you've joined my mentorship program, so we still have five sessions to go. Alright, brilliant. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye bye. Cheers, bye bye. Hey, this is Michael and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below leave a comment and let us know what you think and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel for more great videos like this